And now on BBC One, the news headlines from Richard Baker. The Czech leader, Gustav Husak, has warned the West that the Warsaw Pact countries will unite if forced to defend their interests in Poland. Speaking at the Communist Party Congress in Czechoslovakia with the Soviet leader, Mr Brezhnev, sitting close behind him, Mr Husak accused the West of trying to pull Poland out of the Communist bloc. He said there had been attempts before to weaken communist unity in East Germany, Hungary and Czechoslovakia. Now, he said, the West was trying it in Poland. Mr Brezhnev will address the delegates tomorrow. Here at home, Mrs Thatcher has written to Mr Brezhnev saying it's important that the Polish people should be able to decide their future without outside interference. And tonight, both the TUC's International Committee and the left-wing Tribune group of MPs expressed their alarm at possible armed Soviet intervention. Magistrates in Barbados have ruled that the extradition papers served on escaped train robber Ronald Biggs are in order, despite claims by his lawyers that the papers weren't valid. This has now cleared the way for extradition proceedings to begin. The latest medical bulletin on President Reagan says his temperature is now back to normal and he's doing fine. The President's temperature had fluctuated over the past 24 hours. A doctor said tonight that the President may be in hospital for a few more days, but he couldn't say for sure. Back home and claims tonight from the TUC that support for the government is pouring away. General Secretary Len Murray, speaking in Birmingham during the TUC's Social and Economic Campaign Week, said that jobs and industries are being washed away in the flood tide. Earlier, leader of the opposition Michael Foote said it was a lie to say there were no alternative policies. Finally, cricket and Jamaica have ended their first innings at 368 all out in reply to England's 413. John Embury took the remaining four Jamaican wickets after tea for 11 runs in seven overs. That's all from me on one tonight, so good night with a look at the weather with Jim Bacon. <laughs>